Today we'll be taking a look at how to create a backup of Windows 8.1. To get started, we will browse over to File History. And in File History, when this opens up, it will scan the drives that are available that we can create a backup to. So Windows, as it creates its backup, it cannot save the backup to the system drive. So we'll have to choose either a separate partition, a separate drive altogether, or in this case, I have this Nexstar drive, which is a locally attached USB hard drive. And what we are after is down here in the bottom, system image backup. We have three options for storing our backup. We can choose on the hard disk here. And as you can see that the C drive, or my system drive, is not available. We have these other partitions on that drive, but we cannot choose the system drive. We can choose one or more DVDs, depending on the size of your installation of Windows. Choosing the DVD option may require quite a few DVDs. We could also choose a network location to choose our backup if we do not have an external hard drive. But we will choose that next external hard drive. And on here, we can choose the different partitions that we want to include in this backup. But we'll just choose the EFI system partition. And we'll choose our C drive, or our Windows partition. We'll click on Next. And in our summary screen, we can see that we are backing up to that external hard drive. And we will click on Start Backup. Now, depending on the size of your backup, this could take a bit of time. Once the backup process completes, we are greeted with this window that the backup completed successfully. And once we see this, we can click on Close. And that's it. What we can do is browse into that external hard drive. And we can see that that right there is our backup, Windows Image Backup. And now, since this is a backup of our system drive, this folder will be protected to keep standard users out from viewing this. Then at this point, we can take this, uh, this folder here of our backup and stick it in a safe location for in the event of a hard drive crash or some PC failure, we can use this backup file during the recovery process to restore Windows to the state that it is right now. For more videos, be sure to check out itpro.tv.